Hello everybody, it is the Jeremy Good Gamer and channel. We are back. Let's get into it. We will head to Shinban Four Eyes and Brolok Ogre. So once again, nice, chilled, relaxing leveling, reading all the quests and ensuring that we immerse ourselves in the mysteries of Azeroth Turtle Well. We definitely have a stalker here, but don't worry, General's quite used to those. She spots them a mile off every time. Doesn't matter what their species. And she knows they're still chasing, that's A-OK. -okay. must say the sound is annoying here. I didn't ever realize how loud that Orgrimmar, actually Stormwind as well, maybe it's capital cities, is over other sound. So I have already turned down sound since last episode, as there were parts where I wasn't quite happy. I thought that maybe the sound was a bit overpowering. But let me know what you think. Do you think that changes are required in this episode? Because what we could do, I think there are add-ons um, that we could use And we could tune into one of these stations, actually. Oh, some lo-fi. Lord of the Rings? <laughs> this is lo-fi Lord of the Rings, right? It's amazing. Let's try the other one. Some more lo-fi. Okay, great. There's a white. Well, guys seem to, to like the their lo-fi. We'll turn that off. But I do think there are add-ons for just playing any song you like. Gosh, wrong button. Definitely didn't mean to counter spell the ogre. We will run away and evocate. I don't know why people hate ogres so much. I don't think they're that bad. Bit of lag there. This me. Gosh. That's all right, we'll make do.
that's what I will do is after this episode I'll, I'll get the the music add on because we definitely missed something without the ambience or the ambiance Just going to check if it's still Augurama. It's nothing. Okay. Oh, another friend, maybe. Oh, I think he's a hardcore boy. So, we would be best to leave them alone. Uh, shamans. I was going to multi-pull, but actually... I wonder if it's better to just allow him to be fought alone. Now we don't have lightning resistance as far as I'm aware. We've got a shield for frost and one for fire. Do actually need to go and kill ah, Shinban Four Eyes, the ostensibly smart ogre as well, needs killing. Right, okay. There's something that will take some AoEing. I think we can do this. We will make ourselves a mana jade. got evocation we do have the meditation okay we'll be fine i think we'll be fine let's start with the aoe okay goodness me this isn't what i expected <laughs> okay uh let's think about this i guess we could always polymorph one of them yeah let's just run away for now and we'll reset I think that's what we should do. Has the warrior jumped in? I reckon he could. Okay, so we have one of them then. So with one of them out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, this seems more doable now. Well, good on you, Iota. Well done. In the meantime, we'll get a few more heads. Resisted counter spell.
No more Orgrimmar. We are not in Orgrimmar. Goodness me. Some more water. Now I think we are behind in buying our new spells. I sent a lot of my money. I had about 50 gold to my druid. So I, or general, is very poor. But that's okay. We'll work our way back up. We'll keep an eye out. I think we can kill others in the meantime. I can definitely see a line of sight there. Ah, oh, well. I think one of the other ogres should spawn first, as I killed one of them before the Four Eyes guy was killed. Here comes Orgrimmar. Ooh. Cave music. Ironforge? We should just sit in here for a while. Then to be a dwarf. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Jell is basically an owl. Turn her head all the way around. I did promise to have that. Oh, here we go. Here's one. The weapon swing timer sorted out by this episode, but I didn't. I was so eager to keep going that I uh, I haven't had a break. Right, this should mean that the other guy is about to spawn. So let's get our mana ready. Come on, four eyes. We need to take your head. Apparently, or ostensibly, you are a threat to the Gilnaeans. And we can't be having that. Oh, resisted that. That's LOS. Another pyroblast, gosh. Let's just keep lossing those. In fact, I think we can get a spell cast off and then still line of sight him. Oh my goodness. Merry go round, fantastic. I feel so strategic. Wow. Well done, General. 
right, we'll try a bit of AoEing now. After this guy. Six more. We should move a bit further away, actually. Oh, we only hit the one. That was newbie. That also was. There we go. I did take a mana gem there. Good. Ready for some more Orgrimmar? I am. Really, I want to get that AoE on the edge uh, rather than getting them centered. So that was a that was a noob move just there. And again, I really don't want to be being hit here. So really, I should be trying to get it here. That other guy, he's yes, he's not quite in it. So that wasn't the move either. So now what we'll do is we'll try to. Oh, this guy is hurting us a bit. A little bit tougher than the other one. Moves faster. A bit harder to deal with. Oh, that was <laughs> another noob move. Rank one. This guy doesn't play around, does he? Okay, rank one. Jump away. Jump away. Ah, uh, we will do this, and hope for the best. Let's get some mana back. How long have we got? Four seconds. Don't have enough for a blink, good enough though for a five, which is a frost nova. In case you didn't know. Rank one. Let's go for a full rank. And again. There we are. Good. Gosh, General, you made that more difficult than it had to be. What bandages do we have? We have heavy silk. I need to remember that. Make sure to loot the other corpse there. Oh, we have a 41 undead mage. We don't really want to be trying this, do we? Not, not while recorded. I don't want to embarrass myself. I think these should be our last two targets here. These last two ogres. I 
had to rank one it. That rogue was looking hungry. Yeah, high off rogues. Very hungry boys. And girls, clearly, but also boys. Let's try this. Come on, slow down. I do definitely need to try a bit harder when it comes to gathering them both together. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, so like that. Fantastic. Let's get on Tommy. And let's go to kill some bats. And we can put the music back on and enjoy the homely, warm tones of Gilneas. Let's get away. Gosh. Many stalkers around. Okay. Combat is gone. Just take the one and see if this is a a beast that we could likely AoE. Because right now they have this annoying green life. General's just trying to gauge the abilities of this beast. Okay, there's the the wolf. We saw that. A little bit of choppiness. I might turn something down a little bit. Let's try that. Okay, we'll try like this. I think this might be a one at a time situation.
So you may be seeing the herbs scattered around here. I don't think that we have a high enough herbalism level to satisfy these requirements. So that's the reason I'm skipping them. So you can't interrupt this drain light as well. Very frustrating. Oops. Definitely done a good job though with the, the music. It's not the most welcoming of places, but this music certainly does add to the atmosphere, the eeriness and the, I guess the, the sort of the sorrowness, sorrowness, the sorrow and, uh, and pain this land has been through. You can clearly feel it, I think, in the tone of this music. We have to buff again soon, aren't we? Yeah, not quite high enough then for the Kaggers Whisper. Whisper? Whisker. Oh, cobwebs on the trees. Very nice touch. What else have we got? Grey sandy beach. Some murlocs, clearly. Gosh, obviously murlocs. Can't go anywhere in Azeroth without there being murlocs. We have a friend there as well. Could be worth getting them on board. This quest it is a bit of an annoying quest. Not being able to AoE. I was waiting on their advance, but they said nothing. Shall we say hey? Let's see if they want to join. Okay. Well, it's less XP. <laughs> I see. I see. That doesn't seem like a good reason to me. Gosh. What a way to play a game. A get to max level. I understand it. Of course I do. But... I have changed my priorities with time. Max level is great, but the game, Turtle Wild in particular, uh, is largely about leveling as well. Definitely not in retail, 
that the I think the original ethos of of the vanilla World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade, to a degree, a lot more focus on on the leveling journey, which is great, really great. So I think if you're playing this game now, really you should be all for the journey. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Ah, okay, evasion. We're going to run away. There's clearly a little bit of a phasing issue here. It's okay. These guys don't get paid very much to make this game. We can forgive them. I keep <laughs> pressing the wrong button. I think the button I'm pressing is to drink... I drink, and and yet it's counter spell. So uh, I think I may have it tagged differently between my my druid and general. We should sit down, have some drink, make some more drink, and get back to fighting. Which leads me on to think as well, what will I do with Genel once we reach max level? Because I, I don't really know. I don't want to raid. Five man sounds fun. I just want to see more of the story. So will we try again? Will we play with another character? Probably. These bats. Do you remember from the previous episode? It was the, the cook that asked us to kill these. He is a very tough man indeed. To be able to do that. He has a very challenging career, I must say. We see another bat. It should be noted as well, these bats are a couple of levels higher than us. So uh, please forgive Jenna for the speed at which she's dispatching them. Buffs up again. How do you play the game? I I would presume that more people watching this style of content play like me, caring more about the the journey than the destination. Wow, that's a lot of rain. You hear that? It's torrential. I 
Hope it calms down soon. That is a lot of rain and General has no umbrella. Something else I wonder about the leveling for the destination or leveling for the, the journey is that obviously leveling for the journey will get you to the destination but does that then mean that you need to start the journey again? with a fresh character how does one keep things interesting at the destination level how does one do that I don't know the answer I don't think the, there is a good one and clearly in retail that's with mythics with, with raiding but I don't know about that. It's the same with anything, not just games, but one might become a master of their profession. Um, but once you've reached that masterful state, do you still progress? Is that journey still there for you? Maybe it is. Maybe that's not the right analogy. Someone we should ask is general. I mean, clearly she's reached the masterful state of AoEing. Does she still enjoy it? Is there still more for her to learn, despite the fact that she's a master at it? Who can tell? Two more bats required. We'll come back to you, Cook. But for now, let's he hand one in to uh, Sergeant Arbington. Uh, two, actually. The ogres that you so despise have been dispatched. You seem not to be a dead mercenary. Does that then make you successful mercenary or simply a lazy mercenary? 18, 19... Hmm. That one is really badly damaged. Whatever you did to him, poor. Ah, regardless, you did well. Here's your payment. That confused me. Whatever did you do to ah, whatever did you do to him? Regardless, you did well. Here was your payment. Well, actually, what we did is we froze him to death, and uh, in doing so, we accidentally stepped on his head and it shattered. So, so there. We also have the staff of Shinbun. There's no further work. Your current tasks need to be done. Well, I've, I've done them. Here you go. Hmm. He must not have been such a threat after all. To see you bring back this trophy so quickly. Though I shall not change the pay now. A reward is a reward. Take it. Ding. Congrats, General. 43. Fantastic. Right. What more shall we do? We do need to get those bats. And once we have those, we have the web spitters. So perhaps let's run this direction. See if we can find a couple more. 
and then we'll head over to the web splitters. Okay, we see one already. Great. Two on the horizon. Don't worry, we'll, we will spend our talent point. I just... Uh, I'm so keen to get some more bat meat. That must not be a big enough bat. There's no meat from that boy. Well, I think for now we'll just go for improved cold snap. What was that again? It was damage dealt. That's all right. Flat damage dealt is good. Too steep for you, Jail. There you go. One more. And we got a blue. They look very good. Obsidian Greaves. 10 strength, 6 agility, 10 stamina plate. Wow. I reckon they will sell for a lot. So, General will be poor no more. Gosh, I will be sending that to to our bank character. One more. We only got a cured. How did we get a cured ham steak from a bat? Ham is pig. Well, let's RP it. It must have consumed it. Uh, it couldn't have consumed an actual pig because it's a fully cured ham steak, which means that it must have come across across someone's picnic and hungrily devoured the picnic before the picnic owners uh, could realize what was happening and then flew away gracefully. I don't think it ate them because we would have found the remains of the picnic goers on the corpse of the bat as well. Fantastic. Nine out of nine. That's great news. Uh, let us actually head back to Narwick and hand this quest in. I'm sure he will be ever so happy to have the meat that he requires for the Gilnean soldiers. Let's mount up.
when you stop to think about these games and the type of quest they ask you to do now we were told by Narwick to pick up nine greater vowing meat to field to feed the army nine each one must be quite big it's not like a rump steak you pick up at Aldi these must be quite large and I don't know how the general is carrying them I reckon what she's doing she's tying each one to Tommy the turtle as she picks it up as she sort of cuts it off and and he's got it on his back that's what I'm RPing here Narwick we have the meat well, ain't you a sight for sore eyes, stranger. You've done some mighty fine work for our cause, and I reckon we owe you a debt of gratitude. Not a problem. Very happy to do so. And Lance, your dad, I mean, his work that he does is just second to none. It's fantastic. Um, follow after follow after him, or don't, because it is a demanding, scary, and, uh, and violent profession, actually. Uh, but also, he could have some lessons in hygiene. There's definitely some flies around the meat here. Anyway, you've got a good dad. Goodbye. Right, and I think what we'll do is we'll leave it here for today. Thank you guys for joining me once again. And uh, hopefully you'll be back for the next episode where we will continue our journey and kill some of the web venom spitters and help the Gilnean people. All right, goodbye.